All right, we've just arrived, all three of us. Here we are, we've put this all back together now. We've just made another rod. We've put this all back together now. We just made another rod. We found a piece of pipe here. Made a piece of pipe. Um, it was hollow, so we found some old nuts and bolts that were no good. We took the nuts off, then chopped the bolt heads off, and then they're all tapped in all the way along this rod inside to make it like solid. Then I welded the, the bolt on the end there put the bushes back on, put the nut back on there. And then we had to weld a little, the collar that was on the original one is inside here. So that's now how it should work. And then you've got these two clips here that you can take out and put in there, the same on that one and the same on, on this one to get it at the right position. But everything's all back how it should be now. Topping off the stack. There's a load of straw. Then we didn't get far down the road, we found out we got problems here. This join here is split, and this ram here has snapped off. So we've just welded it up, we're just testing to see if it works. So it seems to be working now, and you can see it when we get it up, the ram's a bit bent. But right, we're finally going. I think it's just gone eight o'clock now. Tuesday is the 24th of August today. We're back on this fly stuff again, and it's splitting. You can see him right, he's just there in front of me. Yeah, the stage was a bit of a bit of a pain, but we're sorted it now. So. And the turn is all fixed as well. You saw that a few moments ago. Yeah, that's all running nicely now. Floating as it should do, which hasn't done for probably nearly two years because one bar was slightly bent. but Right, this bit has uh, all been split, the roads have been split. But the way the um, turn does it, you get four roads sort of like fairly close together, and then you get a bit of a gap over there, and then you get another four roads. It's just how it works with the, um, the way it's set up. If you look, there's a slight gap this side before the next one there as well. The next morning it snapped again. So we've got the professionals in. Right, this is all professionally welded now, and this bit here, where is it? There, where it's snapped off as well. Right, it's Wednesday now, the 25th, I think. I'm out bailing again. Got a nice straight road, so I've got the GPS set up, I've got the We've got a chase in the same field as well. It's 
try and do a bit of footage so you can see how it works. It's got a wheel on the front which will rotate the van over on its side. And you go in there, that automatically closes, picks it up and then drops it on. And then when there's two bales on there, it will then automatically lift it up and you can see it going now. Then it'll push it on and drop to the next two. Roll it over. Lift it up. And drop it in. And you can pause it until it gets to the next bale. Now about 8 o'clock in the evening, so today Wednesday. Now behind a smaller combine now, it's about a 15 foot cut. Flying along now, now about 17, 18 kilometers an hour. This is actually quite a thick row, some of the other rows have been thin. I've got it set at 20k, and there's not a, it's a fairly long field, but I'm managing to keep all the bales up on one end to make it easy for the guy standing them up so he ain't got to drive all over the field so I'll show you when we get to the other end because it's a small combine uh, letting the bales out on the heavens and plus I have to a bit of a um, maze to get through them but you'll see what I mean in a minute bales here all down the side here so yeah, there's not much room to get through it. Alright, we've just arrived, all three of us. On this next wheel. Yeah, the two red ones are ours. We've got someone who gives a hand. Right, here we are. We're bailing this oat straw now, Thursday afternoon. There's one baler down there. That's another, uh, it's a New Holland 1990, which is basically the same, same bagger as I've got here. And our other bagger, the Master Ferguson one, is over here. Yeah, we're in the big, biggest field of oak straw at the moment. 30 foot cut New Holland. It's the same combine as the day I started when it started raining, so. Yeah, it's going not too bad. We had a few issues with the that bale over there, the um, thing that detects if the fly, uh, not the flywheel, the stuff issue shoebox was gone, the sensor somehow had moved and got caught in the cog in the gear and it wouldn't, um, wouldn't uh, every time it was going around it kept saying the shoebox had gone so it thought it wasn't turning. So I did a few adjustments on it and it seems to be working but how that thing moved I have no idea. Another mystery but a little bit. We're all on the last row. I'm on the last row in this baler. The other one is in the last row going that way. And now our baler is in the other, on his last row coming the other way. So, yeah, this is a 90 acre field I've just heard from the, from the farm. And we have done that in how long has it taken us? Hang on, 72 hours. I don't think so, somehow. Uh, I'll press the wrong button here. Hear me, that one. Two, two and a half hours, so. Well, I've done what? 120 bales, so. Alright, the difference between the lights. The right hand tractors are tracked with the LED ones, and the left hand one is the guy who's helping us out with his um, normal halogen ones. It's a slight difference.
see the jerk on that tractor when, it, when the plunger goes back to the force, it's a job to say because I'm jerking as well. But that is a, a two a T750, so that's 250 horsepower. It's, it's got a chip on it, so that's 280. So he's pulling 10 more horsepower than me because I'm standing 270. So. I well, just had a, a bit of an experiment with my uh, GPS for the to see the red, red line we're driving on. I, as I was coming out of the, this field and driving along this track, I just programmed it to see to see how good it is, whether it will take me back in. We'll just see how it goes on. We've got this uh, side corner coming up here. Wait a minute. I'll go through this gap in this hedge here. So, right, well, it should be programmed. We'll see if it goes where it should do. It's a bit wavy because, yeah, now we're going. The GPS doesn't work so well at high speed. Oh, yeah, it's a bit rough. Yeah, I'm not touching the wheel, but the wheel's not moving. Yeah, that's going where it should do down this track. Oh, oh, calm down, Mr. Track. I just didn't know that slight bend there. Yeah, you can white, the white engage above. Um, well, 20, when you get to 25 kilometers now, it'll cut out a slight little bit of wavy that's the cat you gave me. Got a slight twist in the, in the thing here. Uh -oh. Slow down, it's a bit rough this bit here. Yeah, there we go. Just around here, and then we should be back on the straight again. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we're still going. Still on straight bit here. Let's see when we get down to the bottom, how it goes around the corner. All right, we're now coming to this bottom corner here. Should go around to the, around to the right. And yeah, we're going around. And then we're up, we hit a bit of a rough track here, but we'll see how we get on. Slight left here. Yep, still going. Yep. Ooh, it's, a bit, it's a bit rough this little bit here. Yep, we're off again. No, I've never, I've never used this function, this function before. I don't even know if I put this tractor had it on. All I had to do was just press start when I was driving out, follow the track, and press end, and it just memorized it. Here. I don't know quite how it'll do this corner, I don't reckon it probably will because no, it's going wide. Oh, yeah, we're going round. Well, I'm now coming out of that field. This is it, it's now back onto the back in control of the GPS again. This this is the way I actually uh, programmed it. Shut the back window. Yeah, this is the way I programmed it, so it should probably be more more spot on going this way. But at last, look, we've got some uh, blue sky up there. It's been a very, very frustrating week. We've had little bits of rain in the evening, which has meant it stayed wet all night, which means we haven't done any combine at all this week. We've done some bailing, but yeah, no combining because it's just been too damp. Steering's done by hydraulic. I'll, I'll be quiet for a second. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, 
anyway, we're around this corner now. You actually went when I mapped this out, I went a bit further further away from the trees because I knew if I got under the trees it would probably uh, probably lose the signal. There's a slight uh, and then there you can see that light coming through there in the middle there. That is where it goes under some trees and actually loses the the GPS when you go underneath there. Once we get the other side of that, we're on the on the road, so I'll be back to driving normally again. So. Mm, should take me straight through this gap. It'll probably bear at me in a few seconds to say it's lost signal. Still steering at the moment. Yeah, see, I've just lost it. Take control. GPS satellite, well, there's only one road, so I had to do it anyway. Right, well, let's take the last load home from this place. Just following the load, you can see there's lights up there. So the last time I'll be using the, this GPS line I've put in. Yeah, it's about, I don't know, time it was 11, something like that. Should be home in about 20 minutes, possibly, so. We've now just uh, beat the deepest, deepest tram line. This one is probably, I think it's probably about two foot deep there on that side there. Yeah, that, this is now the new deepest tram line. If you look at it from across here. Night time loading. Just got the last four there, he's gonna stick on the trailer. Couple of straps to put on, then ready to go back. It's Saturday night, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I really have not got what I think any great footage this week, but because we have been so busy, hardly any time to get any footage. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, this video. And cheers, guys, thanks for watching. All right.